Greetings, I'm Ginger Chang. Welcome to US TG360. It's great to see you again. Our feature story today is on a spectacular performance from Vow to Action, presented by TG volunteers in seven US cities. The play was inspired by an animated film about the venerable Master Jensen, who sought to spread Buddhism in Japan. While traveling the high seas during the Tang Dynasty was dangerous, Master Jianzhen still made six daring attempts until he finally reached Japan's shores. The master's enduring determination inspired Tsuji volunteers to recreate his arduous journey by performing from vow to action. Although it was challenging for the volunteers to form themselves into the shape of a boat, everyone remained on board by constantly remembering the persevering spirit of Master Jianzhen. One early morning at 5.30 a.m., 30 Tsuji volunteers from Southern California were getting ready to make the long trip to Las Vegas. There, they'd be performing from Vow to Action, a showing of the venerable Master Jensen movie, an animated film featuring the Master's courage in overcoming hardships on a perilous journey. <laughs> After a four hour long trip, they finally arrived at Clark County Theater. But there was no time for rest. Everyone quickly prepared for rehearsals, warmed up, and pulled on knee protectors. In order to assist Japanese monks in establishing the basic precepts of Buddhism in Japan, Master Jianzhen made six attempts during a period of 11 years before finally reaching Japan. Despite the great dangers in crossing the ocean, this inspiring story of overcoming extreme hardship was made into an animated movie. Tsuji volunteers wished to enrich the spirit of the film through a live performance based on the film's theme song, From Vow to Action. Las Vegas was the second city in which they conducted this performance in conjunction with the film screening. During the performance, 26 Tsuji volunteers coordinated with each other to form the shape of a boat just as if they were Dharma Master Jensen's disciples protecting their master during the trip to Japan to spread the Buddha's precepts. Dharma Master Jensen had an especially big heart. He spent his whole life realizing his heart's desire. I'm especially moved by those students which surrounded him. They all must have had very strong and persistent belief in order to help and support Master Jensen's desire. And that's why they were able to accomplish the goal together. I'm very touched by the entire experience, and not just by the few minutes of actual performance. It really is a rare opportunity for all of us to come from so many different places to get together and practice. Those interactions during our practice sessions have been very precious to me. During the last two hours of rehearsal, with one knee on the ground and one arm lifted as if it was a paddle, the 26 volunteers concentrated on timing their movements with the music as if rowing the boat forward. 
Everyone seems a little bit less nervous this time because we already had some prior experience. We just need to sit down and relax a little bit before the performance. Master Jensen's animated movie premiered for the first time in the U.S. in Los Angeles on January 8th. 108 volunteers performed in front of over 1,000 people. I was the first in line when we performed, so I couldn't see anyone except the audience. Later, I realized that I just needed to follow our teacher's instructions in order to display and perform each movement, as well as keep the right musical beats. Whenever there is a performance, I always ask myself, how can I do it better? Often, performances require some individual experience and a great deal of practice in coordinating movements. Of course, teamwork is also very important. As a matter of fact, I didn't intend on playing the role of the master. It's mainly due to the brothers and sisters. I feel a strong sense of unity. So in truth, I'm not the only one playing the role of the master. Rather, the harmonious spirits of everyone's heart and efforts help me portray the part better. In the performance, 30 individuals seemed to move as one. We did it. We practiced so hard, and it was a real pleasure to see the awe in the faces of the audience. Master Zheng Yan is our guiding teacher in Ziji Foundation. And she wishes each of us to be like the students of Master Zheng Zhen by supporting Ziji's mission with the same degree of dedication. As you can see, with patience, practice, and sheer determination, CJ volunteers were able to put on this brilliant performance for over a thousand people. For most of these volunteers, this was their very first time on stage. Even though they knew they received nothing in return other than the joy of a job well done, they all spent long hours in preparation. Let's take a look at what the audience had to say about the results of their efforts and also go behind the scenes to see just how the final formation of the boat came about. The beautiful theater at the Clark County Library was the venue for the Las Vegas performance of Master Jensen. The movie and the show were both warmly received by the audience. I've always been very impressed with what the foundation does because I've been following it. Uh, I like the program. In particular, I like the song at the end. The way you put it together was very good, very interesting, you know. Uh, for you all to take the time to do this in, the way you sanction each part. And the movie about the gentleman that took him, what, 10 years? They came from Japan. Uh, for them to sacrifice that much 
I mean, you have to have a belief. You have to have something strong. And I respect that. I had no idea that it had been a, a Chinese gentleman that brought Buddhism to Japan. As a, you know, you didn't have to necessarily be a Buddhist or any kind of a religious person to be moved by what your organization does all over the world for people everywhere. Not only did the audience leave satisfied, but the performers did too. On that very same day, they packed up and made the four-hour journey back to Los Angeles. They arrived at 10 p.m. at night with the satisfaction of a job well done. But how was this performance created? What moved these volunteers to spend so much time and energy to work together and create this event? When I first heard about the promotion of this venerable Jianzhen animated film in Taiwan, I tried to understand Master Jian Yan's thinking, why she asked the ITV to work on this film, which took over five years to produce. I wanted the audience to sense the hardship Master Jianzhen endured during his journey to Japan. I thought, how could we better capture the essence of his experience on stage before the actual screening of this film. Sister Jing Yi mentioned to me her idea of demonstrating the movements of a boat on stage. Based on that idea, I began to think about how we could present it on stage. I started with drawings on paper and then refined it over and over again. I finally decided that it would require 38 men to perform it. Coincidentally, a young man was staying with us at the time, so I asked him and my husband to be my test models. I often saw my wife practicing alone, stepping back and forth, trying to figure out the movements. One day, she asked for my comments on her newly composed choreography for From Vow to Action, and asked if I thought those movements would touch people's hearts. From that moment, I finally understood what she was preparing for. She also asked if I would be willing to act as her practice model and try out the new choreography. I agreed, and of course, some tough practice came after that. Henry and my husband were my experimenting models. My husband had never performed on stage before, so it was important that it not be too difficult for him. If he was able to do it, then all the others would be able to as well. There were 38 men practicing the choreography in the hall, while 50 men and women practiced the chorus outside. We practiced constantly because there were so many scheduled activities. It was a chaotic scene in the beginning. I almost felt like we were conducting a Mission Impossible project. It was the first performing tryout for many. Continuous, uncoordinated movements and the skipping of musical beats made me wonder. Perhaps I should tie them together using a rope so that they could feel their partner's movements. Then I realized that it was a team performance rather than an individual one. <laughs> Let's after practicing, we would encourage them to share their experience and feelings with each other. Gradually, they began to feel a rapport with each other. They 
Eventually, their performing relationship was transformed from strangers to brothers, hand in hand, with the same ultimate goal in their hearts. <laughs> In order to catch the audience's attention, we softly slid out for the first four steps, followed by some heavy steps in the same position, to create a heavy thumping sound. Were the performers performing in sync? The answer is absolutely yes. And that in sync was not just technical, but their hearts were in sync as well. This unity of heart and mind didn't just occur with one performance. It happened several other times in several locations, such as New Jersey. And the three showings in Northern California were mostly performed by software engineers who had never been on the stage before. I, I doubt that if I could do it, but I, I promised myself to try my best. That's what I basically did. I tried my best and hopefully I got to play the real uh, venerable, venerable Chinchen's spirits on the stage. This first Northern California performance took place on March 26 at Lindbergh High School, San Jose, hosted by the Cupertino Community Group. Each location added their own little flares to the performance. For instance, in New York, volunteers' performance, staged at Flushing Town Hall Theater, varied the movement of the boat breaking and emphasized the disciples protecting Jensen. All the Sushong coming to cover to me, and then I must protect. Yeah, that is for I'm Japanese, so I'm just a little bit touching about this show. So thank you very much to give me a chance to do the something for the Master Chen. Maybe we can learn together, and then maybe we can play together too. That is my wish. Maybe we can change the world, I hope. This theme of working together was especially touching given the second run of Northern California's performance on May 29th at Shabbat College Hayward. It was hosted by NCA San Jose Chapter. Three hundred and twenty-four people came together to form a giant boat, requiring an immense amount of coordination and practice. All these people from all these locations would not have devoted such efforts to performance had Master Jensen's movie not been so poignant. The spirit of Master Jensen, who traveled to Japan to aid it, was especially poignant at the time of this performance, right after the Japan disasters. We at the end of the performance, the audience was encouraged to take a moment to pray for the disaster victims of Japan in hopes of reducing calamities by joining our hearts and spirits together. We were relaxed right before the performance. As soon as the stage curtain was raised, dry ice vapor was blown towards us. The music started, and we stepped out with the first step. We, ourselves, were actually very emotionally moved by it. It was really a touching moment, but we couldn't show our emotions. We had to follow through with the choreography on stage. I was thinking, we're only performing a moving boat. There's no comparison to what Master Zheng Yan deals with daily. With Master Zheng Yan, in our minds, we slid out for the first few steps. Then the sound of those heavy thumps solidified the spirit, an image of Master Zheng Yan in our hearts. 
so it Dao Qi Fang Men in Mei Xiang Dao. Master Zhang Yan is our spiritual guiding teacher, and our thoughts were focused on her. Master Zhang Yan says one should not underestimate oneself because everyone has unlimited potential. Initially, the idea of organizing people to form the shape of a boat was just a thought. However, the city volunteers, inspired by the resolve of Master Zhen Zhen, were able to turn this thought into reality. This beautiful performance from Vow to Action is the first of its kind in city history. segment Footprints demonstrates the same fighting spirit. In it, we bring you the story of Li Wen Wen from the Tsiji, New Jersey chapter. This brave woman not only had to face the hardships of having a child who needed a bone marrow transplant, but she also suffered the loss of her husband soon thereafter. Let's see how this courageous Tsiji volunteer was able to overcome her difficulties. When I first heard the music from Vow to Action and saw the accompanying film, I was so excited. Ever since I was a little girl, I wasn't very good at talking. I learned dance when I was little, so I often use dance to express my feelings. On stage, I can forget who I am and express my thoughts easily. Even though I didn't choose dancing as my profession, it has given me tremendous spiritual support. About 10 years ago, my child became sick. In the beginning, we couldn't find out what was causing her illness. So she was continuously receiving treatment. After undergoing several stages of chemotherapy, we finally found out that she had a rare blood disease. The year after my child received a bone marrow transplant, we discovered that my husband had a brain tumor. After going through three operations over a period of about four years, he unfortunately passed away in 2004. I realized how impermanent life is. I constantly remind myself to seize the moment since there may not be a tomorrow. I should do whatever I can whenever I'm able. Since joining Ziji, I feel that what gives me the most strength is that I now know how to deal with problems. When facing a challenge, I can handle it calmly. This is the most important and valuable lesson that I've learned from Master Zheng Yan's teachings. Li Wenwen is now the stage director for Vow to Action. Similar in a way to Master Jianzhen and all the Tsiji volunteers who took part in the performance, Li Wenwen also confronted her challenges with determination and grace. I'm Ginger Chang. Thank you for watching US Tsiji 360, and I'll see you next week. <laughs>